Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridgetech with another flashlight review, this time on a Nightcore TM03. Now this is the CRI version, so this is more of a sunlight color temperature, so it's going to have better renditions for colors, and it's also preferred by photographers as well. So in any case, comes in this box, and I want to thank Banggood for sending me this to review. Alright, so let's wait no further. Let's open this up and see what's in. Okay, so the battery that comes this is a special battery especially for this model of flashlight. Um, I tested and it uh, rated more closer to 3000 milliamps so that's a plus a very high capacity battery and we'll go over that some more here in a little bit comes with a warranty card comes with the user manual now I'm gonna post the specs on screen so it'll be easier for you to read so we'll go ahead and post those up on the screen now And that way you can see those a little bit clearly. All right, so now we're going to move along. And here, now it comes with an extra O-ring. Now there's a little see-through cap here. And this is actually, if you have multiple batteries, you want to put this on that battery. Or you can use a regular dedicated battery case for it. But in any case, it's nice to have that so you can store that. Uh, safely without being a danger. Comes with this nice holster here. Nice and padded. I've never had any problems with Nightcore holsters. So we're going to move on here. And now let's take a look at the light. And I like the style of that. Looks really good. I like the way that feels there. A lot of heat sinking here. Because this thing here can generate a lot of lumens. Machining on this is outstanding. Not filling any sharp edges on here. Nikor definitely has one of the best finishes there are in the flashlight field. And looks really nice. You've got mode switch here, which is also power switch, and you also have a dedicated mode switch here. looks really nice a lot of knurling here keep that grip there when you're holding it if you're holding it tactical all right now it's a very deep reflector that is textured and that is running a Cree XHP70 LED. Look how deep that is in there. It's got to be at least an inch and a half or more. Really nice. So now we're going to go ahead and open this up and I'll show you the special cell that this takes here. Now this is a little bit uh, on the difficult side to undo because it does have two O-rings on that tail cap there. I'll show you the springs. Okay. Well greased on the threads too. 
on inside unfortunately this barrel doesn't come off look at how thick this is here the body and remember this is is using a lot of if not most of the body to keep the light cool so it's like a heat sink so that's why this is extra thick and this is heavy without a battery okay so now I'm going to show you the battery here now the battery here has two contact points got the negative here and the positive right on the front now that's normal for a battery but this is actually exposed because normally when manufacturers they'll put a, a ring on here to protect that and just have the positive and the negative but this actually use that closeness in contacts and what's inside that light you'll see little tiny little in upraised pegs around that positive center those make contact with this area here and that gives you that full battery burst right from the front of the battery rather than from here from the back of the body of the battery so it's a little bit shorter distance so it allows that battery to kick out a lot more now as far as long durations of running this on you know 2600 lumens um, it's definitely going to step down due to heat but in any case this battery is uh, registering 3000 milliamps in my test so that's pretty good so now we're going to put it back together there on the o-rings here a little bit you've got to push a little bit once you feel that makes contact you can go ahead and we'll turn this till it stops and now we're going to go through the UI now the UI is programmable okay so now I'm gonna go over the programming of the light but we're gonna go over the UI first in this mode this is mode 2 which is what they call strobe ready uh, so you have instant access to strobe with the lever here and this is this press and hold and this is a kind of slows down speeds up strobe there now if you want to double click on that you can get instant access to 2600 lumens super bright and then of course you can turn this on and go through the light outputs with the lever here now this does have memory modes so if I put it here on high turn it off turn it back on it's right back where it left off and goes through the modes so just remember if you want instant access to strobe which is more for tactical maybe a police officer uh, you know SWAT team this is definitely going to be your mode for you because you got that instant access and you're ready to go and then of course you can double click on that anytime I'm really liking the color temperature on that light okay now we're going to change it from strobe ready mode 2 to mode 1 which is suppressing light mode so now we're going to go ahead and unscrew tail cap now what you can do um, is that you can simply make sure that that light loses contact to the head but in any case just to make sure that it does make sure you do that and put it back in now what you're going to do is you're going to start screwing this down here till you get to where those o-rings are no longer showing and then on the tactical lever here you're going to press and hold that while you're screwing it down and you'll see it blink here now you saw that blink that shows you that it's ready to go now it's in mode one so now when you press and hold that lever it's instant access to turbo now if you double click this lever now you get strobe and this is the one I'm gonna end up keeping it on and then of course it's the same way through the light outputs if you want to turn that on it's the same way as before anytime that uh, 
when you push this lever down now it does no strobe so now you can just go through the modes and of course turn that off on any level it does have memory mode turn that back on so just remember like I said now changing those modes is super easy it's not difficult at all I'm gonna leave it on mode one I kinda like it I don't use strobe that much so let's go ahead and take this outside see how it does in the wilderness we are out here in the darkness with the Nightcore TM03 CRI. We're going to go ahead and turn it on. Starts off on low, of course, and I'm going to go ahead easily making everything in front of you, of course, out to 35 feet. Let's see if it goes out further. I think it does making that tree there faintly that's about 65 feet show you on the fence here all right so we're going to go up to the next level on there that's got some good throw on this here got a good solid a little more slutty beam than anything but color temperature is very nice on this see all the colors in the grass really nice and we're going to see if it'll make the tree of life here and it does check over here and now we're going to go up to the next level. Wow. <laughs> Look at this spill come alive on that. I've got it at my shoulder blades here. And it is making across the park there to those playgrounds. And there's two of them out there. Okay, so now we're going to do a beam check here. Look at all the light on the ground and all around you. Incredible performance on this light. Making the trees behind the tree of life. Wow. Okay. So now we're going to go up to the next level. Wow. This is incredible. Look at it across the park. This is crazy. Really crazy how well this is doing. Man. This is really nice. Very surprised with this. Not surprised, but I mean more shocked because Nightcore makes incredible quality products. Look at the beam. I've got the hot spot there on the tree, and look at all this area down in front of you that you can see with it. Faintly making those palm trees. Oh man, definitely going to be carrying this on me. I'm really liking this one. And we're going to end on this. And there's the fence line, tree line. Put it right in the middle. Look at all that. Incredible light. Incredible performance. Oh wow, definitely now my favorite light. All right, hope you enjoyed those night shots. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed those night shots. This thing is an incredible light. 
probably one of the best 18650 cells uh, lights that I've ever seen um, and I'm saying that respectively um, this is definitely something with the CRI I was able to see really nice color renditions in that grassy area as well as the tree in the distance man this thing is just a phenomenal light output running it at that max all the time it's not going to be able to sustain it it's going to get very warm here um, which is normal this light generates a lot of heat for such a small light even with the other light levels low medium and high you're going to get a lot of light out of this light and this is definitely going to be uh, something I'm going to be carrying for a while this is definitely surprised me quite a bit uh, top-notch uh, for Nikkor this is an incredible product my hats off this is really nice now the proprietary battery is um, maybe an issue for some people I recommend like what I'm gonna do I'm gonna end up buying a couple extras just so I can have them uh, because I will be using this light quite a bit because this is probably um, the brightest 18650 light that I have so I want to thank banggood.com for sending me this to review now they have provided me a special discount code on this light kit and it's going to be right up on that screen right about right here and there's going to save you some money should you be interested in getting this now it comes with everything you need right out of this box all you got to do is have a charger of course dedicated charge it you have no issues now I noticed that Nikkor on their websites they're saying that it requires a special charger I was able to use my XTAR uh, V4 or VC4 and had no issues charging this battery well that's it for me I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please share like and subscribe that way I can bring more of these type of kits to you in the future thanks for watching Take care.